Cheese. Go! Shorts are not. Wobble wobble. Do some wobbling. <laughs> Hello loves. It is Friday. And I thought that we this weekend we could do like a little bit of a weekend reset type thing. You can follow me with doing some stuff for the shop and doing a little bit of reading. I will be doing the reading will be for a separate vlog though, so I won't go too much into what I'm reading. But we can start with a haul because I've come home to a whole bunch of parcels but also I have a little bit of stuff from TK Maxx as well, aka HomeSense. So I thought we would start off with a little bit of a haul and then go into what my plans are this weekend. Um, a bit, most of it is going to be shop stuff. So that's exciting. Um, but yeah, let's get into this haul first. So I did get another Sand and Paws candle and it is Witch's Brew. And there's this really, really cute um kitty and dog as a ghost and a witch on the top and it smells lush it is double wicked it smells really really nice it smells of apples i don't know if it tells me what the actual scent is on the bottom no it doesn't but it smells like apples and it's a really really nice a very very autumnal and then i did get a couple of mugs they are matching but two different colors so i got this mug um which looks like the same on both sides but it is like a off pink ish color mauve inside and then the same design but with like a burn orange inside so they're two really really cute mugs i wanted to get matching ones because i thought they were really cute it's all well and good me having my own mug at home but i have so many of them so i might as well get some matching ones i might chuck a few what a few out and then I also got this giant pumpkin. This is the last thing that I got. It's got like a little hard thing here, but it's soft and cushiony. Oh, it's got beans in it. Beans? Oh, that's probably to keep it weighted. So I could use it as like a doorstop or, it doesn't even say anything on it other than the price. Um, or it's just like a cute little decoration thing. It's probably the sort of thing that I would leave out all year round to be honest, because it is very, very cute and very subtle as well. So. Um, I got that. So that's my haul from TK Maxx slash HomeSense. Um, and then this is what I've come home to today. So I've been at my brother's and Andy's since Wednesday. Today is a Friday. So I haven't been home since Wednesday morning. And this was all waiting for me. And I, I've not got a clue what any of this stuff is, I don't think. I will want to start opening it, obviously, but I don't have a clue what it is otherwise. Ooh, okay, so this is from Fell and Broom, who I'll leave a link to in the description box down below. Basically, I found out about this company from Hannah, um, Red Shepherdess, who, if you don't know, I have a little bit of an obsession with. I think she's great. I love her book, and I love what she's doing for the agricultural community, as well as women within agriculture. Um, so I found out about this company from her i think it's her sister that runs the company and i've been obsessed with their headbands for a really long time now and i wanted to get one of my own um so they're really really cute they look like this they do do hats as well and they do play in headbands as well but the idea is that i don't even know if this is going to fit on my head i'm not going to lie <laughs> i have a rather large head it's quite tight but, oh, it's meant to be tight. The idea is that it covers your ears and keeps you warm in winter. And it's really, really cute. I know like the top of your head is showing, but it keeps your ears warm and that's the main thing. So it's really cute and I really like it. And I love the cover, of, cover color of it. Um, so again, I will leave a link to Holly's shop in the description box down below, Fell and Broom, if you would like to go and check them out and get one yourself and support a small business as well. They're local, not too local to me, but they're in Cumbria, so they're only like an hour up the road from me. Um, so I'm excited about that. Then I have this very large parcel. I have no idea what's in here. I don't know why, but it, it feels like bookmarks to me. And I, I don't think it is because I've just opened them. I mean, it's potential for more. It is more, but Max. Okay. Well, that's good news. So there must be one more missing then. Okay. Um, water stones. <laughs> Ooh, okay. 
This is my pre-order of Timber Dark, which is, oh, the spread edge is really pretty, which is the second book in the Wranglestone series by Darren Charlton. I read Wranglestone when it came out, 2019, I feel like I want to say, but it could have been 2020, and it was really good, and it's a queer, a kind of dystopian book about, um, these boys that live on a very kind of isolated place and um it's kind of it's isolated for a per for a purpose uh so they live surrounded by water and it's for a reason that there has been like um an apocalypse it's like post-apocalyptic and there are zombies running around um so they live surrounded by water so that the zombies can't get to them however in winter obviously the water freezes and it's chaos so um that's what happened in the first one and uh, on the back it says with the tide turned against the dead peter and the remaining community on wranglestone prepare to leave for town where the comforts of the world before await them could this be the home that finally brings both safety and unity for all I'm really looking forward to reading this one because i really did enjoy wranglestone i gave it four stars but look at these edges how pretty so I'm excited for this. Oh, it's signed as well by Darren. Um, I feel like I've been waiting a really long time for it and I need to get myself a copy of this cover of Wranglestone as well because my cover of Wranglestone wasn't as pretty as that. They did a redo on the cover. So yay for that. This one. Ooh, okay. I purchased this for a video. Uh, it's a second. It's like a second-hand copy of All Her Little Secrets by Wanda M. Morris, and it is a thriller. I think a taut, sleek thriller that is also a searing story about the secrets we can never manage to leave behind. A stunning debut in this fast-paced debut thriller. Wanda M. Morris crafts a twisty mystery about about a black lawyer who gets caught in dangerous conspiracy after the sudden death of her boss intriguing i am here for it nice so floppy as well which i am very happy about always happy about a floppy book and then finally we do have the fairly adult box which i'm really excited about i know what the book is and unfortunately i was spoiled for it on fair on fairly on instagram to no twitter struggles on twitter today which is annoying as fuck and i wish people would you know give it a little bit of time before they go posting it all over the show uh, I know what the book is I just didn't know what it was going to look like because um, you know that's just annoying it really annoys the life out of me when people do that of course my battery is flashing uh, so this is Babel by RF Kwong so I now have two special editions of it and I don't think I'm going to end up reading either of them because I'm going to want to buy a normal copy so I don't ruin them but this is really really pretty <gasps> Oh my goodness, look how pretty it is, it's shiny. Look at those spread edges. <gasps> Dead. Oh my God. Okay, it, if I dislike this book, I'm gonna be absolutely heartbroken. Absolutely heartbroken. Underneath the dust jacket, they're pretty much the same. But their end papers and everything are different. Um, so, signed i am living for this i am absolutely going to be heartbroken if um oh they do start quite differently as well so there's like a map of um babel and a general map as well of oxford whereas in the illumicrate one there's like a bunch of other stuff at the beginning of the book as well i am going to be really devastated if i don't like this book because now i have two incredibly pretty editions that i'm never going to want to get rid of whether or not i like it uh, I feel like I do want to get a plain copy as well though because I don't want to read either of these because they're, they're too pretty. Uh, so that's everything for the haul so far um, because I've no doubt more stuff will come over the weekend. I do have a new laptop coming tomorrow which is exciting. I am doing reading sprints tomorrow with my patrons throughout the day um, and I have so much reading and now bookmark stuff to do for the shop. 
So I am a little bit snowed under this weekend. I have a lot I need to do and I've got to start getting myself ready for videos as well for while I'm on holiday because that is coming up incredibly, incredibly soon. Less than two weeks away now. I think it's about, it will be 13 days away now until I go on holiday. So I've got to start getting myself ready for that as well for videos and stuff. So yeah, I've got to get on it this weekend. It's going to be a busy one, but I thought I would bring you along with me. It's just going to be like a weekend vlog in which I don't, necessarily tell you updates on my reading but i will be reading it's just that this for a different video so um the only book that i probably will give you updates on is the fine print because that's i one that i do need to read that's not part of the video the other video that i'm doing and i've got to get through that before wednesday so um let's get on with it i've got to tidy up now because it's a mess in here um and i will check back in with you later i think i've been sat here for a good I've no idea what that is. A good 20 minutes, 30 minutes doom scrolling since I finished filming. <laughs> oh no. Right, okay. Come on, Barra. Let's sort this out. <laughs> Saturday and it is currently quarter to 11 in the morning. Today I am hosting Patreon Sprints from 12pm. I don't know how long I'm going to go, I'm just going to see how I'm feeling. I'm a bit headachey today and I think it's because over the last two days I've had approximately six hours sleep. Um, one of those being um, the night before last I only had an hour's kip. So I'm just really struggling right now with my insomnia, which is weird because I'd gotten to a point where I was sleeping really well for about five days back to back. I was sleeping really well and I was in bed before like 11 o'clock and flat out before midnight, which is entirely unheard of for me. Um, but I don't know, my insomnia has been horrific recently. Uh, so I my plan today is to try and get a lot of reading done I also need to do a lot in the shop today because our final set of bookmarks should be coming today um, and I am looking forward to that we're going to be doing a new shop drop this weekend I need to check with Jade whether she wants to do it today or tomorrow giving me a chance to do a bit of packing um, but today is going to be spent mostly packing bookmarks um, I need to put them on the shop but I do need to pack them as well however I did start a book last night now I know I started two books yesterday actually um, I am over halfway through one of them but it's for another reading vlog and it's an audio book so that's going to be great for me while I'm packing bookmarks um, the other one is it's for Bookopoly it's for the big book 
uh, and it is my graphic novel of On a Sunbeam by Tilly Walden and I started this last night and I did get about 50% through. I am on page 277 chapter 13. This is good so far. Um, we are following a young girl called Mia and she joins the Ak Actis crew who are working in construction essentially uh, rebuilding buildings um and she we basically get two different timelines we get her integrating within this group and then we get her back when she was in school and a little bit of a rebel and um having this relationship with her best friend and um it's good so far i'm enjoying it i'm still not quite sure 100 percent what's going on but i think our two timelines with uh, the character from the past are about to cross over so it's going to be really interesting to see what happens there i don't really understand what's going on with the space side of things like there's these giant fish things which are the ships and then there's this place called the staircase there were like th there's like three different places in space and stuff one of them's called the staircase um but so far i'm enjoying it the art style is beautiful however what i will say is that i have struggled a little bit with some of the text style because it's kind of written i assume it's written text rather than um actual text text like you usually get in a graphic novel uh, sometimes i am struggling a little bit with trying to read that so um but otherwise i'm having a really good time with it the in illustrations are just beautiful and the color in here as well are is gorgeous so yeah enjoying this hoping to finish this today that gets um one book off of my bookopoly tbr I have done a bit of switching around on my book couple of TBR as well. Um, I haven't finalised it, so what I'll probably do is in next week's reading vlog, uh, I will let you know what those changes have been. Because I think if things go my way this weekend and I manage to get through quite a few books, which I am hoping will be a possibility, um, I'm hoping that I by the end of the weekend I may be two or three books down well definitely be one i'm thinking i might try and pick up moonstruck as well so this might be like a graphic novel type reading vlog um so it turns out you are getting some reading from me but i yeah I'm, I'm i'll be at least two if not three or four books down by the end of the weekend which is great i just can't let you know about the others because they're part of a different reading vlog um but next week i will give you an update on what my changes will be and you will essentially find out at that point what the books were that i read this weekend um so what i suppose i can tell you pestilence by laura thalassa um i'll show show it here instead of holding that up because you can barely see it i'm now 51 percent into this enjoying it having a good time not going to go into depth with it because i'm reading it for a different vlog uh similarly with sword heart by t king fisher i had had already started this last week uh, I'm 178 pages in again enjoying it so I would really like to finish both of those this weekend um, and if not something else as well or at least get a really really decent chunk into something else so I have high hopes this weekend but I also need to catch up on filming and editing as well because I have no videos yet filmed and edited for when I go away on holiday and I don't have that much time left to get on top of that so I really could do with sorting myself out this week with that. Um, so yeah, I'm aiming to try and finish this today. If I can get this finished before my sprint start, that would be great, but I don't know if that's gonna be possible. I'm gonna have to really get a shifty on if that's what I wanna do, because I've only got an hour and 10 minutes before my sprint start. My new laptop comes today as well. I have ordered a new laptop, I got ordered it yesterday. So that comes today also. So at some point, I will probably end up distracted trying to set that up too. But so long as I've got audiobooks going on, I don't care what I'm doing, so long as I'm reading at the same time. So that's my plan for today. Um, fingers crossed that I will stick with that. I could do with doing a bit of tidying up at some point as well. Um, tomorrow is a race day. I should really watch the qualifying today, but I might end up skipping it because I really need to prioritise reading and the shop today so um i will probably do that but yeah that's where i'm at it's a busy day oh my brother would like me to sketch up a tattoo for him as well so i need to do that too 
I might also do some iPad work as well. I need to get my October calendar for my patrons going because obviously I'm away for two weeks at the end of the month. So I need to get that going so that I can get it scheduled, ready to go up while I'm away. Um, this is the other thing I'm having to like think in advance of things for Patreon, YouTube, etc. While I'm away on holiday. So uh, similarly with Instagram, it would be nice if I could post a couple days while I'm away on Instagram. So on Instagram. Uh, so that's where I'm at. So I'm going to go get myself set up for sprints. I think I wanted to set up here, but I think I'm going to set up upstairs. It makes more sense for the shop. Uh, I can always move, relocate a bit later on in the day. Uh, so yeah, let's go do that six and a half hours later okay hey it's quarter to four in the afternoon i'm making some progress i have nearly finished with the first book of the day but i've been doing a lot with the shop and my new laptop has just arrived so i thought we could unbox it together and you can see what i got i ummed and ah between a um, Apple Mac book Air and the laptop that I ended up going for which is a Huawei Mate book. I went for the 16D, didn't know whether to get that or the 14S but in the end ended up going for the 16D because the camera on it is better and I am going to be using it for live shows. There is that too. Why am I struggling to get into this end? Hello, here we go. Okay. new laptop in ages. Was that really necessary? <laughs> that is a great big box. Okay. How are we? Just make sure it's there address. I don't go shit. How are we? Let us break into this. I should be using a knife really but we're gonna go in with a pen because Oh, that's a very secure sticker. Okay, I'm in. Spin. Okay, we have a lead and a plug, which isn't something you get very often these days with the electronic items, especially phones, some instructions I assume, and then the piece de resistance. Oh my god, it's so much better than my current laptop. Holy crap. So excited. I always get nervous though about new stuff like this, like new phone, new laptop, new technology in general, because what if I don't like it? Oh my goodness, it's almost like a... I went for Space Grey. I didn't have much option, to be honest, because I was getting it from Amazon. But it's almost like a purplish colour. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm so happy. It's so large. That's what she said. <laughs> okay, let's... um. We're going to test this, because on a review that I watched... You could just lift this up without, oh, uh, you could do it on the 14S, but I think because this one's a bigger laptop, you need your other hand. Hang on, I'm struggling now because I've got the bloody, let's try it like that, the bloody camera. <gasps> it's so cool. It's so big. This is fingerprint thingy-majig. I'm so excited. So is this my power lead? Because it's going to be very small if it is. Let's put you back up here. Do apologise for the window being directly behind me. That's in inconvenient. Must be my power lead. It doesn't seem particularly long, but... Maybe I could be incorrect. Oh, okay. It's a reasonable length. I'm going to take the wrapping off this. Anywho, very excited about my laptop. Uh, not much else to update you on. I currently have all of the pictures taken 
all of the listings for the new bookmarks the autumn drop are now ready and saved in the draft ready to go for 6 p.m because we're going to do the drop today at six uh and i'm really really excited so it's a very busy day for me i'm trying to get so much reading done while also trying to do so much work as well for daisy and b and now this new laptop's going to very much so distract me i think so um yay for that but uh yeah i'm gonna plug this in get myself set up and started with it uh, and i'll check back up with you in with you when i've got an update for you weekend vlog up um i managed to be really really productive i got so much work done i still have so much left to do and today is a pretty tight deadline for me it's my brother's birthday so um i'm trying to get this done as quick as i possibly can i need to edit this vlog i need to edit my haul i need to edit my unhaul I have a couple of patreon videos i could do with editing i'm not going to get them all done today i need to prioritize but i thought i would come and wrap this vlog up it's been a pretty exciting weekend we had the autumn drop on daisy and b which went super well um i have managed to pack well get up to a certain point of being up to date with them but obviously more orders have come in which is fantastic so i managed to pack most of the bookmarks and i'm going to get them posted today um i managed to finish three books this week five because that i was already started counting what i've been doing the weekend three books this weekend uh, two of which are for a different vlog um so i'm not going to mention them here so i've finished two for that vlog and then the other book that i did finish is for um book Applethon. this is the book that's over 500 pages it's a graphic novel it's on a sunbeam by tilly walden and i enjoyed this it was good i feel like part way through though round about this point i didn't know what the hell was going on i got really really confused i didn't know what was going on and the illustrations started to get increasingly darker i mean they were in a cave they were underground but increasingly darker to the point that i couldn't even see what was going on properly one of the main characters cut her hair and she ended up looking like one of the other characters so i really struggled to figure out who was who um it did get a little bit jumbled and confusing towards the end i haven't run this through corpal yet so i'm not sure what i'm rating it but i'll put it here once i know um and yeah i reckon it's gonna be a three or four star overall it was generally good i enjoyed the storyline and what was going on in here it's very much so about friendship and finding your place in the world and um things like that it was it was good it's queer if you wanted a queer graphic novel set in space it is queer but yeah overall it was good i will very briefly actually mention the two books that i did finish this weekend because even though they're for a different vlog um they are still part of bookopoly so book up with them um because i have swapped a few things out so i did read uh, pestilence by laura thalassa i enjoyed it that's all you're going to find out from me because it's for another vlog and i ended up putting that one in for a book featuring death so i swapped death note out for pestilence uh because i needed to read this for a vlog and um it made sense i don't know why i didn't do this in the beginning to be honest and fit it in then i think i just panicked and freaked out and was like oh my god a book featuring death oh death note is the only one that makes sense I freaked out when I can't visually see the book because it was on my Kindle when I can't visually see the book I forget about it so that that was one of them Pestilence by Laura Thalassa and then the other one was uh, Brutal Prince by Sophie Lark again enjoyed it it was good um that's all you're going to get out for me of me because again it's for a different vlog uh, and this one was for the prompt of a favorite trope so i did have the deal down by l kennedy for this one for fake dating however i realized that there's a good chance that i'm probably not even going to read that till october anyway just before the live show um so 
I've swapped that out for Brutal Prince and in the sense that it is essentially fake dating but it's actually a marriage and convenience which is for me essentially well not essentially the same thing they are very different but they sit together for me they sit nicely next to each other fake dating and marriage of convenience are very very similar so um it fits for that as well so yeah that's where i'm up to so i've managed to finish three books already on my bookopolis on tbr which is great news because i was getting really really stressed and worked up about that i have swapped a couple more out but i'm not going to tell you about those in this vlog because they don't really matter for this vlog because i haven't read them in this vlog um so yeah that's where i'm up to i'm gonna go and um carry on with this because i really need to get this done and dusted and out and then i can get ready and leave for the day um but yeah i hope you have enjoyed this vlog and it was a probably a little bit messy but it was just a little weekend vlog i wasn't expecting to actually read anything that i would tell you about in this vlog and i've managed to finish three books so that's good um i did make a bit of progress in another one as well so great news uh but yeah i hope you have enjoyed this video and i shall see you in the next one bye for now